it's been announced that the number of pregnancies has fallen for every age group apart from women in their 40s. And the trend has been labelled as the rise of the older mum. Um, and you had your twins, I believe, when you were 45. I was 45, yes. IVF, yes. Um, so did, were you concerned at the time about your age? Anybody to try and discourage you? Were you worried about it? Well, you know, I just recently met and, and then married uh, James Keach, and I'd been very, very low, and he'd never really been able to raise his own kid for divorce reasons, and so I felt the only thing I could give him back was to have a child, and so I tried it, and it was very difficult. I lost uh, several pregnancies, and then eventually I got really lucky, and... Uh, but I was warned that, that there were possible things that could go wrong, but you don't think of that, and I didn't realise... They didn't say actually, you know, you could lose your life having a baby at that age. But, but Jane, did you... You were having IVFs. So you accepted it would probably be a multiple birth. Yes, yes. So, no, I, that I accepted, and that was good, you know, two for one. I mean... <laughs> uh, but, um, no, what I had is I had preeclampsia, which, believe it or not, is what killed the real Jane Seymour, Queen Jane Seymour. She had preeclampsia. Henry VIII's Jane Seymour. Henry VIII's Jane Seymour, oh. the name that I took when... But how I my late own. in your pregnancy was it diagnosed? Um... Actually, quite late, but the babies were about six weeks early. I was just whisked in right away, and um, they gave me an emergency C-section. But, you know, I, I, they, they did the epidural nowadays. It's so yeah. brilliant, you know. I'm just lying there. You know, are we going to have babies soon? You know, got some makeup on. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, you know, there's those footage of you know, them cutting me open, pulling out babies, and then, of course... I, they didn't tell me until three days later that I nearly died having them. And also the babies nearly died. And the babies, died. babies nearly were, died. So. They were in hospital for quite a long time, weren't they? Well, the, for a few days, and then we took them back home, and then one of them, Johnny, uh, the smaller one, turned blue twice. It's and, terrible. you know, you had to kind of shake him to get him... Because they didn't suck, swallow and breathe. That's the mm. last thing they learn. And uh, so I, for the first four months of their lives, I was strapped with, um, you know, these sort of monitors, yeah. heart monitors on them, 24-7. They're very scary. It was really, really scary. So, so I wrote a book saying, you know, two at a time, the journey, journey through twin pregnancy, mm -hmm. because I didn't want people to think, oh, it's terribly easy to have children later in life. Oh, having twins is, there you know, the are, way no. to do it. You know, I'm very glad yeah. I had them. And the yeah. one there, uh, Chris, on the left, is now a major baseball player, and the other one's a rock and roller in Nashville. So big strapping <laughs> young men. Big strapping yeah. young yeah. men. But, but, but no now, problems. Having been through all that, if anyone, if a woman was yes. asking your advice to say, you know, what about having children over 40, what would your advice be now? I would say that, um, you know, that you probably, if you, if you haven't found your mate and you haven't managed to do it before 40, you should probably freeze some eggs mm. or come up with some you know, other option. There are a million options now. Anybody, any combination of, of married couple can now have children. I mean, it's always like designer children now. Well, it's quite also, amazing. You but could I adopt. do it earlier. You yeah. could adopt. There's yeah. no need to put your body through it. No, and you Ruth, you didn't have your son till you were in your... 42, yes. I'm 42, but I wouldn't... I, w I didn't choose to leave it that late. And that's the other thing. Mm. I think people, there's this assumption that, yeah, yeah. oh, you're a career woman, you yeah. know, and you've left it yeah. late. And that wasn't the case for me. I just hadn't found the person that I wanted to have children with right. until I met Eamon. Um, and I did worry it wasn't going to happen. You know, we tried for quite a long time, and I was very, very lucky. And I toyed with trying again, and then I thought, don't push your luck. Yeah. 42, conceived naturally. Because I think mm. the other thing is, you hear wonderful stories about people who have mm. successful IVF yeah. treatment, and they say, isn't it marvellous? They've got babies. Now yes. you don't. There are so many heartbreaking <coughs> stories. So you know, I think sometimes women just—they just need to be told it isn't. Sometimes you have to make a decision. It's like, do you mm. stick with your career and put the babies to, si to one side for now? Because then what happens, you then realise when you're 38, it's not as easy to conceive. No, because some people yeah. go through the menopause early. Yeah. Like my sister did, and an actress friend of mine um, had put mm. her career first and mm. then decided it was time to start trying to have babies, and then she'd gone through an early menopause. Also, I had um, Bobby when I was 38, mm. and she used to take great pleasure in telling me I was the oldest mum in the playground. <laughs> <laughs> I was just spending every anymore. day like trying to find someone older in the playground. <laughs> what we've seen over the uh, over certainly the last half dozen years is that the old idea of the family, you know, two parents and... 2.2 kids. 2.2 yeah. yeah. has gone right out the window. Yeah. Yes. And I was saying earlier today that I think in the future, like 25 years down the line, there'll be a museum where we see, oh, there's those things <laughs> called men. What? <laughs> <laughs> men. <laughs> because it's true that once 
once you start freezing your eggs or freezing your embryos, you can. Once you start freezing eggs, you can select who you want to be your partner. Right. You can rebuild your family from scratch. You and a lot of people, a, kind of a lot of people like you haven't found Mr. Right, mm. you know, mm. and some never find yeah. Mr. Right. So, but I mean, I've juggled everything. I mean, people said to me, "How are you able to have a career and have all these children?" But, you know, I, I took the kids with me and, of course, I had to take a nanny or have somebody to help me out. But uh, somehow I managed to juggle it. I don't know how. Um, was well, it you I were working at the time. I was so working went all the time. went straight back to work, didn't with, you? Well, I have two older children, too. You know, Katie, who's 36. So I had my first two when I was in my early 30s. And, but I took them all over the world with me as well. That's um, what I did with my kids, took them everywhere. I took them everywhere. And, you know, when I see people who say they have their exact nap at exactly this time and they go to sleep at exactly that time and they only eat exactly that. Mm. I go, really? <laughs> <laughs> lucky you, it you, depends lucky on your you. life, doesn't it? Like you said, you had to work, you wanted to work, and so they have to fit in, in with you. I think they did, and now they've different. all gone into showbiz, so what can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> so, Mum, you're having too much fun, that's why we want to do it. Uh,